All right, here we are at the Actions Detrimental Denny Hamlin version bracket. And what we try to do here is put the most detrimental moments of my career in a bracket. I told these guys right from the get-go, eight seeds was not enough. We have plenty of honorable mentions that we're going to talk about throughout this bracket. So we have what we think collectively eight most detrimental things, and we've seeded them. So... Right here, we have Chase Elliott, 2017. We know about the wreck. Denny Hamlin versus Kevin Harvick. This is, this is a quiet sleeper here. DH versus Chastain, the most recent news, probably gonna be a hot topic. Me versus Kyle Petty. Denny versus Joey Logano. Homestead, 2010. Ouch. DH versus Brad and Alex Bowman in 2021. So, let's start at the top. Chase Elliott in 2017 versus DH versus Harvick. So in my mind, I'm gonna have to go ahead and move the Chase Elliott here for very simple reasons. I feel like the crowd was pretty neutral towards me uh, in the first 13, 14 years of my career. All it took is to wreck the most popular driver. Boo. That's definitely moving on. Next bracket here, we got Denny versus Ross Chastain or Denny versus Kyle Petty. You know, this is interesting, and I think these are pretty close because the Kyle Petty one in particular, I was just coming up in the ranks, and you had the, the Heritage Richard Petty fans that were Kyle Petty fans, and basically, Kyle was about uh, 20 laps down, running about two seconds off the pace. And I got into him while I was in like the top five. So the way I saw it, he was in my way. And he basically couldn't hold his car straight or give me courtesy to go on by since I was so much faster. But anyway, I ended up getting into the back of him. And then as you saw, uh, he wanted to come into my car, flip my uh, visor down, and then I attempted to go after him after he had already left the car. So Kyle talked a lot of shit after that interview. And from that point on, I think the fans kind of tempered their fandom for me at that point. But, you know, I'm going to go in an upset here. I'm going to have to go in an upset. Again, these are the most detrimental in my career. You know what? I'm changing my mind again. I'm going with Chastain. The reason for this is not only have I gotten the shit into the deal, it's also cost me money apparently. So Chastain's moving on here. The next bracket we've got DH versus Logano. There's quite a few incidents here. Versus the five seed of Homestead 2010. The DH versus Logano was very interesting. It started really when Joey left the race team at Joe Gibbs Racing and went to Penske Racing. We had a feud. And uh, it really started with, I don't think he thought that I respected him. Uh, ended up spinning him out at Bristol. He, another driver coming to my door while I'm strapped in, uh, wanted to have a little chat. My crew guys pulled him off of me. They said, not in here. And the following week, we were racing for a win, of course, on the final lap of California. I thought it was going to be my win there. Uh, and he wrecked me, basically, and broke my back. So... I, it's, it's, it's that or the Homestead 2010. I think people pretty much define me by no championships. That's pretty much the only argument they have uh, on my career at this point. So, man, although this is really close, I'm going to have to move Homestead up because had I finished old seven-time Jimmy off the week before, had we not run out of gas unexpectedly, two, 2010 was my championship to be had. We were way faster than him. This was a <clears throat> moment. Okay. Now we've got the DH versus Brad. This, was, this actually might have been the longest tenured rivalry that I had in my career. Versus Alex Bowman, just a one race thing, which is why you seated, seated the two and the seven. It's interesting though, I think as far as public opinion of me, 
The Bowman probably had the biggest impact. Again, once again, it's at Martinsville. What I did claim is my hometown crowd now hates me tremendously because I've wrecked, God forbid, every Hendrick Motorsports driver at that track. Um, and then I proceeded to stop his celebration on the front stretch. So they weren't a huge fan of that. Interestingly enough, they were booing me and I was the one who got wrecked. Like, I don't understand these people at Martinsville. They don't make a whole lot of sense. Um, but me versus Bowman or me versus Brad, this one was big. Um, I don't know that the DH versus Brad was detrimental to my career. Uh, again, he was a young guy coming in. Um, very similar. Brad actually had very similar traits to Ross Chastain. He was very, I'm here to prove myself. I'm not cutting you any slack. If I got to wreck you to, to, to beat you, he'll do whatever it took. I am. I'm, I'm, I think these are closer than the seeds actually say, but this rivalry went on for a long time. The best thing we got out of this was the quotes: "Throw a rock, I'll throw a concrete block." I think I said it. Phoenix. Oh, I'm going to be the first to the pay window. There's a lot of people that needs to pay him back. I'll be the first to the pay window. Well, I'm gonna move the Brad on here, just simply for the duration that this rivalry went on. Let's get into some honorable mentions. Again, there was way more detrimental things in my career to my lack of fandom than eight. So let's just throw out some extras for you. How about me versus Chase Briscoe? Oh, did I spell that right? Who even cares? Maybe there's an E at the end. <laughs> we got Chase Briscoe. How about Danica? I thought we were friends too. Oh, how about the fines? Oh my gosh. So let's just say TH versus NASCAR. NASCAR, nice car. Let's just say 2006 through 2023. It's been going a while. Secret fines, we can't even count them. Again, I've really donated to their uh, charities. Again, so, you know, these were the almost made it lists. Again, we probably could have had a 16 team bracket here and filled them all up. There's been several others that we, you know, don't get all the headlines, but these were fair honorable mentions. And by the way, it's not me versus NASCAR. We're, we're on the same team, guys. Let's, let's work this out. Okay, so in the finals, uh, in the first bracket, we've got Chase Elliott versus Ross Chastain. To me, this is the layup easily. Chase Elliott spinning him, very detrimental to me. Chastain, while there were more episodes of this, and, and you know, this was done as well. Of course, I got him accidentally in 2017, racing for a playoff spot. Seems like everyone wrecks everyone now at, home, at Martinsville. Seems to be fine, but this one versus this one that had at least four incidents, five incidents maybe, most of those I was getting screwed at. But I think the people are kind of torn on the me and Chastain thing. This has really turned the tides for me. Now we got the Homestead versus Brad. I think that um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go with Homestead here simply for the fact of Best driver to never win a f***ing championship. Gosh. If I hear that one more time, um, I'm doing the best I can. What can I say? Sometimes you just have bad luck. So in the finals, we have Chase Elliott versus my 2010 Homestead Choke. Which one is the most detrimental to my career? Homestead came in at a five seed. So let's write that down. Five versus the one seed, Chase Elliott. I know what y'all are thinking. I'm just going to move this one old seed, and the winner is going to be me versus Chase Elliott in 2017. But, but, if I were to win a championship, a lot of those keyboard warriors, as Mike Jory calls them, would have a tough time saying 
about me. And that would really make me happy. So Homestead 2010 is your winner and the most detrimental thing that ever happened in my career.